Don't listen to the French. Don't listen to the Americans. Don't listen to the Australians. Don't listen to anybody. This is the most important horse race in the world. It's the Epsom Derby. It's a mile and a half. It's Group 1 for three-year-olds. Top 1 Battle Warrior Jim Murray. Blue Stadium Darren Thompson. Commander Data Paul Rhodes. Dak Attack Hilltop Stables John Morgan. Gillen Martin Lidham. Lockie Joshua Sutherland. Stonehenge Paul Rhodes. And Triangle Rock. The bottom one for David Robertson. There's only a very small field of eight, which is a disgrace. And away they go. Just eight runners in the derby. And this is absolutely ridiculous. And Commander Dart on the inside is the early leader from Lockie on the outside in second. These two are about two lengths clear. Of the remainder of the field who are headed by Dak Attack. But it's Lockie who's gone on. I'm going to try and do... What his stable companion did in the Oaks and take it from pillar to post. And some of the people playing this game, maybe they just don't respect what racing is, but you can't have eight runners in the derby. Surely the lots of Darren Howells and James Follis and Leon Van Rensburg and Graham Clutterbuck and Stu Gray and Doug Warren should have put a horse in this just to have a horse in it. It's the derby, for goodness sake. And Lockie's the leader. From Battle Warrior in second, it's not all about winning, it's about being in it sometimes. And Lockie's the leader from Battle Warrior in second. Dak Attack is in third and Stonehenge is four. Then comes Commander Data in five. And then Stonehenge and Gillen's after that one. Blue Stadium's next and then Triangle Rock is just about the back marker. But Lockie leads by about four. To Dak Attack in second. Battle Warrior is third. Stonehenge is in fourth place. Then comes Commander Data. Gillen in the purple jacket is next. And then comes Blue Stadium and Triangle Rock. He's just about the back marker, but Lockie is going to try and make it a pillar to post win in the derby. Not the stable companion did in the Oaks, and he's two lengths clear of Dak Attack in second. Then comes Stonehenge, Battle Warrior, Commander Darters after that one, Gillen next, and then Blue Stadium, Triangle Rock towards the back, but now Stonehenge takes the lead. Stonehenge takes it up with four furlongs to go from Lockie in second. Dak Attack the Greys in third. Then comes Commander Darter and Battle Warriors after that gap of three or four lengths. Then back to Gillen Blue Stadium and Triangle Rock, but it's Lockie in the lead. Lockie from Stone Engine, Commander Dart of the two. Paul Rhodes horses challenging on the outside. Now suddenly it's a Rhodes 1 2. It's Commander Dart and Stone Engine. They hit the two furlong pole. Commander Dart and Stone Engine from Lockie on the inside. Battle Warrior after that one. Then comes Dak Attack. Gap back to the rest of them. But it's a battle now. This is the two Paul Rhodes horses and the Josh Russell and Horse on the inside. But it's Commander Dart and Stone Engine. Lockie well inside the final furlong. It's a battle between the two Rhodes horses now. Commander Dart and Stone Engine. Commander Dart on the yeah, so Stonehenge on his and Stonehenge begins to surge and Stonehenge will take it from Commander Dart and then Battle Warrior Dak Attack Lockie and it's a 1-2 for Paul Rhodes you run in the big races you win the big races and Stonehenge takes it for the Professor Commander Data is second for the Professor and Lockie third for Joshua Sutherland Stonehenge then, Paul Rhodes first, Commander Data, Paul Rhodes second, Lockie Joshua in third, Battle Warrior Jim Murray fourth, and Dak Attack for John Morgan was fifth. <laughs>